Then the other thing I'll touch on is broken links, like I had mentioned before. Web1 is almost foolproof for broken links, whereas currently we, um, run, we run reports to try to find them. They'll be generated automatically for you with Web1. So the way to get there is by selecting your username. So I'm up here in the right-hand corner. If I select the username, this looks like the exact page, and it is the page that you land on when you log in. And the broken links report is right there for you each time you, you log in. And it's kind of there, I'm guessing, because when there's a broken link out there, again, there's no notification that says you have a broken link. So this is one of those things that you want to check often. So right when you log in, click on the broken links tab. And it's going to give you a list of bad links, along with error codes and uh, responses, that, responses that the page displays when it's a broken link. So to correct these links, you can go to the Edit node. And because I'm familiar with just this list, um, all of these are broken links that are on one web page. This node is a web page. The node happens to be number 371, not that that really registers, but if I click on this edit node, it'll give me a message at the top that says, I have a list of links in this content page that are broken. And that's when you can go through these and fix those broken links that are, that are um, called out on these reports. So somebody asked a question the other day is, well, what if I name my web page the same name as someone else? So let's just say someone else names their web page information technology. We named our home page that. It won't save over that, but what it will do if you don't create an alias or a vanity URL is it'll put like a parenthesis and a number behind it. So if I was the second person to rename that web page information technology, it'll do a information technology parenthesis one parenthesis or something like that. So don't worry about uh, try, don't worry about saving over you know currently existing pages because it won't do that. It'll just add numbers to the end of it.